All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle McHugh. Today we are out for a 12 miler, so about two hours. I have the Garmin Vivo Active HR on my left wrist, but the HR that is being recorded to it is the Garmin dual monitor um, chest strap that I have underneath my shirt and everything. So we should be getting the most accurate HR information that we can from this workout today. So enjoy some of the footage and I'll see you back at the apartment. We'll go over some of the HR data. We got a lot of rain last night. <laughs> a lot of rain. All right. So I'll see you back at the apartment. Enjoy some of the footage. Check out some of the flood. That was a weird thing to say. <laughs> All right, what is going on everybody? Before we get into the heart rate monitor, the new Garmin chest heart rate monitor, I just wanted to kind of explain the name of the video and give you a little bit more information on the Maffetone method, which I've been kind of experimenting with over the last couple of years. So the Maffetone method is basically a way of training based on heart rate. It's based on focusing on your aerobic threshold. So not your you know anaerobic not your fast system but your aerobic system and basing all of your training on how long you're working out and at what heart rate so often if you were specifically going by the maffetone method you, most of your runs would be like a 45 minutes at you know aerobic threshold so for me that would be 152 beats per minute now that is found through the 180 formula that follows the Maffetone method, where basically 180 minus your age, and that is your aerobic threshold. So for me, I'm 28, my aerobic threshold is 152. Now, I do not train by heart rate all the time. You know, the rest of us, we tend to train by pace. And so the way that you would progress, the most commonly way you progress in running commonly accepted is you go out you run at a six minute mile pace and you do that until it gets easier so then you've trained up to a certain pace right a certain that's your desired goal to be able to run at a six minute mile pace maffetone method is a little bit more based on train at this one heart rate this one effort level and eventually you're going to get faster at that same effort level. So you, you can kind of pick which way you want to go about things. Most people don't tend to stick to the heart rate training because it is off is very slow. When you look up Maffetone method training, it's going to tell you that this is something that is going to take years. It's about being able to create longevity in your running career. Okay, so that locks down Maffetone training. Also, I'm just gonna throw it in. I did this in the Zoom Fly 3s. I'm still really enjoying them. I've done 140 miles in them now, fully expecting to go 200 plus in these shoes. I don't think the carbon plate is too firm. I don't think the React foam has broken down too much. And I still find them very comfortable every time I get into them. So Nike Zoom Flies, still doing great. Okay, so part two of this video is just going over why I've gotten to using a chest heart rate monitor compared to my wristwatch heart rate monitor and why people tend to use that type of technology. So basically, the heart rate monitor when it's strapped to your chest is pretty much commonly accepted as the best way and the most accurate way to get heart rate data. The downside of that is most people aren't willing to strap on a heart rate monitor to their chest for every single run. That's something I will not be doing. That's kind of like why I've gotten to the point of putting the chest heart rate monitor on. Now, if we go ahead and look at the 12 miler that I did this morning, it shows, I would say, that maybe the discrepancies in how an older uh, GPS watch with a heart rate monitor gets your data, how it can be a little bit inconsistent, and how the chest strap is gonna give you the best, most accurate information. So today, 12 miler, um, we were out there for just over two hours. We averaged, we averaged about 1033 miles and average BPM was a 141. I kept it really low effort, 
but was able to control my heart rate and it just felt a very a, like significantly more accurate to how I was actually putting in the effort if that makes any sense basically like if I if I did actually feel like I was getting away from myself and speeding up a little bit I would see that reflected in the live heart rate monitor numbers and that's something that I just don't seem to get the exact same response from from my wristwatch now I want to look back at the previous two days so I've always worn my wrist heart rate monitor on my right wrist and when I ran most recently without my right wrist for a four miler low effort 959 average pace that was a 167 average heart rate that's really high that's when that's when I was initially like whoa what's going on here day after that I switched it to my left wrist average heart rate was 149 more accurate for sure and then today throughout a 12 miler I averaged a 141 average heart rate over 12 miles so yeah like overall conclusions the heart rate monitor the chest strap is definitely more accurate um i am thankful to have it i will most likely be using it maybe every like two weeks just to check in on where my heart rate and how it's doing uh the data that i did get today from the 12 miler is a lot more of what i thought it should be when i was seeing those numbers over 160 from my wrist heart rate that was a little bit concerning so conclusions the chest heart rate monitor is totally worth it. It's gonna give you the best stats, but it's not really a lot of fun to always be strapping a heart rate monitor to your chest. So bear that in mind, maybe include that in your training, maybe don't, but we have gone over Maffetone method, how I'm feeling about the Zoom Fly 3s, and obviously comparing the new heart rate monitor for my chest. So conclusions have been made. I'll be doing an actual math test in the next week or so. Stay tuned. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this video. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you another time. Enjoy your running, everybody. Peace.